One hoer later, teheres are rivet to the eastern side of the broken isles. This is how some of my friends would read it. And whenever I feel a bit let down when it comes to YouTube and what I'm trying to do, I just have to remind myself that that is not how I would read it, but only how my friends would read it. And that if I am much better at English than they are, then why not make use of it? Basically, I just wanted to uh, say something, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's, it's irrelevant at this point. One hour later, the heroes arrived to the eastern side of the Broken Isles. Such a description of Broken Shores. And yeah, I haven't been able to record anything for the last four days, or maybe even five. Had a lot of work at school because I'm 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 in high school. I uh, study chemistry and I'm in uh, the fourth grade. Is is that how you? Basically, I'm in the last year and uh, there's there's a lot more work for me to do. Not saying I do all of it, but I'm trying to do all of it and. It's really time-consuming. I mean, for anyone who is older than uh, 17 years, well, that uh, anyone above that age will probably understand, but anyone below that will not. That's why I explained that it takes a lot of time. Wait. Hold... Oh, it is. Is it? Really, is it? Oh, thank god. Here we are. The humans must be hiding here somewhere. I just hope I can find someone here who can who can point me to, the, to their direction. Weird again, but... As said, I do get what the what, uh, creator is trying to say. The uh, reason why I alt-tabbed, uh, in other words, why the video paused... I mean, only the uh, video recording, not the audio, is because I was checking. I was playing with uh, my recording settings because I wanted to record Paladins, but I cannot with OBS. And before I found out that I cannot record Paladins with OBS, I tried all kinds of stuff. Uh, and I know I tried in a different profile, I'm just saying that I wasn't sure if I didn't change my, uh, I mean, if I reverted my, uh, what do you call it, the uh, shortcut for recording start. So that's that. And apparently I did, so everything is well now. Which one was the... Man, if I can find a builder... <laughs> yeah. Uh, two minutes into the mission and thinking about stealing a worker already. I, I was looking for the magic dispel. I can't... I thought I had a magic dispel. That's not what I meant, but I'll take it. Yeah, I haven't been using the dragon a lot. Actually, never. Only used it when I picked it up and never since. But 200 mana is good enough. And yeah, I can sort of cheat my way through here by being able to scout. Because he has flying vision, of course. Which one is... This one. The Illusionary Rod. It shouldn't be illusionary, but illusory. Illusory Rod, yes? Not illusionary. Nope. Oh. Hydras. Always a lot of health regen. Not on the smaller ones, though. Thinking. If I'm on the Broken Isles, then... Uh, I know what to look out for. Thing one, sea giants. I think that if you increase their their uh, if you increase their health and damage, and a lot of the enemies seem to have increased health and damage, then uh, I think they could be a real issue. Not all of them, because you know I got the uh, disruption web. In other words, twisting chains, a 40 second stun. Right? And a powerful damage tool, but uh, doesn't deal damage uh, in a burst, so it's not as powerful as things like the Elixir of Death. So, Sea Giants, they also have Ensnare and can hurl boulders, which is a ranged stun. Pretty powerful. And the other thing is 
legendaries and I think, or well, uniques, artifacts or uniques, one of those two. Because uh, I think there should be, not should be, but I think there will be uh, a lot of artifacts. Like, one thing I would expect to find here would be the uh, Scepter of the Sea. I don't know why did I find it earlier than in this level, but I did. I'm not gonna complain, it's plus two stat, plus two to all stats. And what I mean by artifacts is, for example, the uh, Scepter of the Sea or Kill Name, the uh, axe which was used for murder of a cheating wife, and then thrown into the sea. Never to be found again, until it actually was found again. I think it was by some Storm Reaver Necrolites, or was it by Murlocs? I mean, Murlocs are more likely to find something that's on bottom of the sea, yeah? But I can imagine Necrolites using their powers to just uh, cause something to rise from the waters without them looking for it. Just like Gul'dan did with, uh, with these isles. And with the tomb of Sargeras, so... Rip. This has been pretty quick. By who? Oh, I left you behind. Oh, he was summoned. Okay. What's over here? I, I skipped this area. Oh, I see where it leads. Deathstroke. <laughs> Behemoth? Well, red behemoth then. Oh, I got tons of gold. Maybe later on I'll be able to buy an army with it. Eh? Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Ha! Spell block. There we go. And the righteousness. I'll just have two of them. Fight my way through all the crabs and all the creeps because if there's a lot of the time if there's this many creeps there's usually a boss of these creeps around and oh there's the sea giants they don't actually have that high damage but this one has decent stats yeah and they also have the chance to do extra damage in an area yeah. This could potentially be dangerous if I encounter multiples. Blocked again, but you see he attempted to throw a boulder, so... Mm, I don't think Hydras will be as much of a problem, even though they have even higher damage than the Sea Giants. Oh, speaking of which... Oh, I haven't been getting any sludges. I think I can make do without them for once, although it's starting, it's starting to get a little... Dangerous, so... Yeah, sea giants can definitely do a lot of damage in an enclosed area such as this one, because I managed to get my heroes caught and then didn't move them out of, uh, out of the choke point. Whoa, mine. There it is. Nothing interesting for sale, so I'm gonna just move on. Might have to heal. Yeah. Still no boss, only behemoths and all kinds of stuff. Alright, let's turbo wreck them. There we go. Ring of protection plus three. Eh. I mean, it sounds good, but I don't have any inventory space, so that's not gonna happen. Or do I? Oh, I left some crates behind. Do I have some inventory space for a ring of protection plus three? I don't think I do. Nah, I certainly don't. I mean, I got my tank with 20 armor. And uh, spell immunity. And I think the others. I think so far I lost them only twice. 
and that was to a hero, a blade master, which critted twice in a row if I'm not mistaken. Which was unlikely, but you know, it's random. Anything can happen in a under the rule of randomness. Come on, move out. The heroes just stood there for a second. Oh yeah, how did I manage to forget that they respawn? I mean, I can keep farming over and over, but... I'd much rather advance, because I think I'm farmed a lot already. Oh, didn't see that before. Whoa, that's a pretty large range on the Skirt Strike. I expected it to be a lot smaller, or for it to be a lot closer than that. The cast, I ex in other words, I expected the cast range to be much smaller than this, but turns out that's not the case. Eat the potion, come on, there you go. Alright, and just move through now. Mm, yeah, my alchemist is only on half mana. Uh, anyway, back to one of the comments. Which I've seen, I mean, I got to read it uh, today, while I was at school. No, I don't have the internet in mobile. I just, we had the uh, IT. We have IT as a school subject, but today the teacher was busy solving something with another teacher. Something with uh, the school data system, and he... Uh, we were basically allowed to do whatever we wanted, with some exceptions, of course. So I had a look at, I had a look at Hive, I had a look at the YouTube, and I got to read a comment about uh, the alchemist here, who, if he were to betray, he would be betray for Farnell, not for Putris. And I agree. Yes, I got no problem with that. I just wanted to say that I think he might betray at some point. Doesn't matter for who, but I think he might. Okay. Ah, you must be Kejin, right? I've heard so much about you. My name is Clea Devstrider. You are welcome to my base. But what brought you here anyway? I appreciate your hospitality, Clea. I came here to hunt down a group of humans who took the place in the sea recently. What if... Oh, I see. I've also noticed the human patrol around lately. Oh, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna find out. Do you have a location on where I can find them? So fast. Yes, of course. Just follow the road to the northwest and you'll find them. But I must warn you. Anyway, I'm willing to offer you some assistance to help you defeat them. If you accept to do me a favor in exchange. What do you want me to do? There's a powerful revenant on the other side of the island who possesses a valuable locket. If you get it for me, I'll, I'll hold up my end of the bargain. It's like... As said, my brain just... Instead of focusing on reading the text, it focuses on correcting mistakes in the text. There was a bunch of them, and that's not a, that's not a real issue. I would still read it out if it were in the damn fast, and it sure was damn fast. I'm not saying it's fast for reading. I'm saying it's fast for acting out loud, which is what I a lot of the time do. So, mm, I assume that if I help her, she's gonna become. Uh, became there a mistake. She's gonna become a permanent hero I can use. I mean, she has the level for it, yeah. Level 10. Why not? And yeah, the voice acting on her wasn't the best, but hey. Uh, my voice is. My voice. N no, it's more like my throat is a little sore, but. Or is it the voice, rather? I think it's the voice this time, not the not the throat. I've been pretty careful with uh, how I dress when I, uh, I mean, what I wear when I go out in uh, in a strong wind or when it's raining. So I don't think that is the case this time. I think it's just, uh, as I said, whoops, let's stay sludge. I think it's just uh, the voice this time. I don't know why am I so uh, vulnerable when it comes to the voice. I really don't. And, I mean, I wouldn't want to know. Y you wanna know why? Because 
I don't care if I know that I'm vulnerable when it comes to voice. I know that already. I would only care if someone proposed to tell me a way to fix it. Otherwise, I have no reason to care because, like, I know I have a problem when it comes to my voice. But if I don't have a way to fix the problem, then why should I care about the problem any further than just acknowledging that I have it? Oh, and a large hydra. Hmm. There. Yeah, I'm gonna have to resummon the sledges in a moment. Hmm. Oh, I didn't lose any? Wow. Well, I will, anyway. There we go. Alright, another level up as well. Oh, so he gains armor. I think he was losing armor at some point. Uh, I guess I was wrong. Alright, and poo. Give me one. There we go. Alright, so I'm looking for a revenant. Is that it? Well, I mean, I found a fountain of mana, which is pretty neat. It's also pretty useful for my alchemist and necrolite. Mainly for the alchemist. Necrolite never runs out of mana because I never use his abilities. Only sometimes. And even then... I use them really late. I don't use them right away when I need them, or when I could use them, with a meaningful purpose. And not just because I have them available, right? Like now. Now I think I used it in, in the best possible way I could. Stunning the strongest enemy at the start of a fight instead of at its end. Yeah. I think that was reasonable. But a lot of the time... The way I use the Necrolite's abilities, it's not reasonable. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, double behemoth. I'm gonna get fucked if I don't uh, kill one of them soon and there. And don't disrupt the other because, see? They have that spinning attack which would screw the sludges over. And that's not something I want happening. I mean, I can get them back easily, but I don't want to wait for cooldown of the sludge summon. Oh boy, more, more of these lobsters. There we go. My sledges are actually almost as strong as those, some of those lobsters are. Okay. Wait, so I'm going after the Naga or after humans because... Naga are not humans, but in the cinematic, this camp was shown, right? Uh, there's some shady stuff. I need to get over there. How do I do that? Ah, over here. Oh, nice. Didn't see that before. Well, now I do. And the sledges are being creative with their pathing, so... I got nothing against that. If they're gonna be there sooner than my heroes, then sure, why not? And it seems like that is gonna be the case. Oh, even between the trees. Nice. Wait, there are two maps being pinged on the, on the map. Two maps, uh, two spots. Why do I actually look for a... Where do I look for the Revenant? He's definitely not in the Naga base. Uh, he looked like a neutral creep, but where the heck did... Mm. Whatever. I'll just murder some fools, because I can. Alright, that's enough. Let's just get over here and forget those. Hydra. Well, I mean, I know that the, the Revenant is... ...near the edge of... Whoa. Wow. Those are some pretty ballsy stats. I guess I'll try to kill 
the upper group first, it's potentially weaker. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh yeah, all the purges. It's not the apprentices, or apprentices, sorry, apprentices, not ap apprentices, that, that's not how it's read. Apprentices. Uh, my brain uh, lagged there for a second, but it's working again, so don't, don't mind me. So the Revenant should be near the edge of, uh, I mean, Revenant should be near a shore. The cinematic he was shown in was showing him with two of his guardians and uh, a shore. Just right next to a shore, so... And I can stun the warlock, that's good. Oh, that's mana! And there's another one, there's two of them actually. Poof, peasant. Oh, he still managed to use it. Well, you know, I can, uh, I can do some magic, Sh some shaman magic. Mantle of intelligence plus three, not worth it. And uh, presumably nothing else. Well, in the end, I, I still got some experience for this, so it wasn't completely useless, but it wasn't really useful either. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, look what we have here. You know, as long as he's not immune to magic, he's just gonna die a horrible death. Because I'm gonna stun lock him for 40 seconds and uh, easy peasy. What I'm doing is just killing off the others so they cannot kill my sludges or maybe stun uh, the necrolite. There, see? hands of the keyboard okay it's just real easy to kill a boss like this one oh so he probably has resistant skin but 40 seconds is still a lot for him okay. it's fine forged by an ancient tribe of revenants from the old times I wonder what could it be what stats would it give oh none okay I'm fine with that, because I wouldn't want to give up any of my items anyway. A rogue. What abilities could she have if she will really join? Mm, backstab? Shadow step? Then stealth? Definitely stealth? And something like a fan of knives, I guess? Well, let's see first if I'll even get there as a hero, or if I'm just... Creating theories about something that won't happen. Nice work, Hero. Now allow me to assist you with this offer as a sign of gratitude. Here we go. These new minions will be an excellent asset for your purpose, Hero. Thank you, Clea. I appreciate it. Farewell, Kitchen. May the Dark Lady watch over you. Whoa. Well. They do have... Well, they don't. They don't have bo boosted stats. But hey, I can heal them. And they look like decent units. Especially the Revenant with his Elemental Summon. The Elemental has Bash, which can stun. And then the Double Coil on, uh, on the Orc Champion is pretty nice. I don't know about the grunts though, they're pretty weak. I think I'll do it like this. Yeah, I would say this is okay. Coil. Heal for 400. Yeah, sure, why not. Heal for 400 on an elite unit. I mean, heavy unit which doesn't heal at all, on its own. Get on with it. I have to pass around the uh, 
lobster race, I mean the Makrura, because the fights with them could drag on for very long, especially when they respawn. Those are not very good on, on their own, but hey, once I give them the buff from my Death Knight, they're gonna be a hell of a lot better. Rune of Healing. Hmm. There we go. Alright, probably nothing more over here. What's what's this? Is that an optional area? A catacomb? A tomb? Whatever. What's that? Oh, it's the dungeon. Oh. I'm gonna have a look into it on the way back. Because I, as I said, I have no inventory space anyway. Oh wait, I have to go there. Well, crap then. Or do I? Have I... Have I missed anything again? Any river crossing? Doesn't look like it, so yeah, I guess I'll have to... I guess I'll have to go down. No other option remains. Wait. Am I really supposed to go down here? That's not a human base, and I've said it once. So... Let's have a look if I'll get to keep my units or not. I don't think I will. Den of the Warlocks. An ancient, an ancient domicile of the Elder Stormreaver Warlocks, whom took place here and unleashed all their monstrosity inside his den. <coughs> yeah, so this is probably just a dungeon. I don't think it has any uh, story relation, or in other words, I don't think it's anyhow related to the story itself. Yeah, those Infernos are weak, I think. Alright, now this one, and they are immune to magic, so that's a shame from my perspective. All right then. Well, I didn't get to keep my units, which is not that much of an issue, just a little complaint. All right then. Move onwards, have a look. Let's have a look on the right first. That doesn't look good, too good. A long hallway with nothing seen on its end. Well, okay, I guess it could have been much worse. Margos are okay. I mean, as long as they're not many in numbers, that's when I think they get obnoxious. But also very effective if you happen to be playing Hearthstone. Flooding the board with a lot of useless crap is usually the way to go. Especially now in the meta when there's Bloodlust and things like Deaths here and that, that kind of things. Alright, double barrel. Let's have a look if there's anything. Nope, absolutely nothing. That one died pretty fast. What am I even looking for? I do see the lever, but... Like... I don't know what did that do. And it seems like I'm not gonna get shown on the map either. So... Pretty sick to know that it's done something, but not know what has it actually done. Yeah, nothing again. So the only way to go is left and up. Yeah. Yeah, there's no entrance to over here on foot. But with one of those crazy vehicles from... Uh... Wait, did I see vehicles? 
Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was, uh, I was thinking about Borderlands for some inexplicable reason. <clears throat> no, I can't get in. I can't get here on foot. It's probably gonna be some sort of teleportation, I think. Yeah, and teleportation or. Uh... Oh, actually, why don't I just check? Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry with that uh, vehicle part. Uh, I haven't slept much for the past four days. Yeah, there's a way gate. Actually, I have. I have slept only like eleven hours. So, I'm not saying I'm sleepy or or tired right now. But I think I'm in a state of uh, very, not very far from the moment when you actually start to fall asleep, while you're trying, while you're, while you're desperately trying to stay awake. So, so that's that. Anyway, I'll try to get through at least the dungeon without falling asleep, if nothing else. Oh look, what did the Legion bring in this time? Well, sh meh. Nope. I don't care. I'm just gonna visit the lever or lever or whichever you want to call it. There. Now, I do not trust the hallway to it, so. The gate is now unlocked. Oh, so that's what I was doing. I thought I was unlocking some kind of. Uh, cool secret area, but no, I was just doing the main quest without even knowing it. I mean, I was just unlocking the main area without even knowing it. Eh, well, that sucks a little, but... You need something. The reason why I was... I suppose why I was thinking about vehicles when it came to this is that it reminds me of... Uh, hold up a moment. That it reminds me of a area in Borderlands 2 at the start where... where you have to jump over a gap. It's not actually a gap, but you have to jump over a destroyed bridge. And you get your first vehicle, and there's a lot of trouble just getting it, right? And then there's even more. Uh, well, not even more, but the jump itself, I failed it a few times. Not on the first playthrough. The first playthrough, it was pretty easy. You just hold shift, yeah? But on the second playthrough, it wasn't so clear as on the first one. I don't know why, maybe because I I was less enthusiastic about the driving and more about the story and, and the gunplay. So anyway, this there's like this gap, this sort of gap, and you have to go up the ramp, go up the base of the bridge, and have Nitro active, and then just jump over it. Otherwise, you just cannot cannot proceed. Whoa, you really? Would you really do that? Well, you're horrible. I'm gonna, gonna have to get rid of you as fast as I can. Yeah, I don't know why could I use the Elixir of Death on the Ravager, but not on the Felstalkers, which have Mana Burn. I don't, but... It is what it is. Oh, another one. Well, poof, peasant. It's time for you to die. And you already have, so... Hmm. Oh, uh, and if you're thinking, well, he certainly had time to play games. I mean, I did have open Hearthstone, but it was like I played one game her four hours because I was learning stuff for school and is it locked? Yeah, I would disagree. But I would also save in case something goes wrong. So like I had the game open but uh, I wasn't playing anything. Holy shite this is not gonna, not gonna be easy at all. Okay emergency we have an emergency. I'll repeat again. We have an emergency and this is not how it's supposed to work. Whatever. As long as it's not gonna stay shut, I have no problem with it freaking out. Oh, actually I do. It's keeping my goose out. Crap. Whoops. Out of the way. Oh, what do you mean? I can't get out? What? Did I break it? I think I might have. 
Problem is, there's not enough time to get my ghouls over to the levers. And I don't think I can... What the fuck? There was something with spikes coming out of the floor. I wasn't paying attention. Otherwise, I think I would have dodged it if there was a uh, visual warning. Alright, so let's... Does it, like, close, close automatically when I get in the room? Or does it not? Alright. Let's screw them over! Whoa, there's a lot of champions. Oh, if I can get rid of this one... Oh yeah, it does close. It was just... Yeah. Damn it. Heal. I think that it triggers whenever he drops 1000 health. It triggered when he was at 4000, then 3000, 2000... Yeah, I think that's the case. Arcane Skull. Gives 300 bonus hit points, increases defense by 5. Whoa. What a good tank, tank item. Shame I already have a lot of those. Eh, hmm. I think Herod's shoulder is the weakest one currently, so... I'm gonna replace that, probably. Hmm. Maybe even the Robot the Magi? Well, I mean... What if I give the skull to the Necrolite or, or the Alchemist? Mm. Nah. Not the skull, because it gives a lot of health, that's probably just a tank item, but uh, I can see the Necrolite dropping that and picking up more health, because it's usually not the Alchemist who gets aimed, it's, it's usually the Necrolite, which comes as a surprise to me. So... Ooh, nice crit. From the Troll Kalar. Alright then. Defeat of four bosses of the temple to unlock the gate. Four bosses? Temple? I thought I was in a dungeon, not in a temple. Well, crab. Uh, okay, so there's a turtle boss, according to what I've seen. Here, I don't know, a sea giant boss? Here. No. Here's a throne. I think that's gonna be maybe Naga. And this. Another throne. Maybe it's gonna be double Naga or double Sea Giant, and this is gonna be a Hydra. Make it quick. We will Not sure which one. Alright, let's have a look then. Let's have a look at the challenger number one. Alright, Revenants. Is that gonna be like a double Revenant sitting at the throne? I mean, that could be the case, although it would be a little disappointing. I think Revenants are, like, flavorless bosses. They just have no backstory, and they're pretty dull to beat. I mean, I'm not playing this for the backstory, don't get me wrong, but... As I said, I think they're just the dull enemies to fight. Yeah, because they always do the same. And yeah, this is probably gonna be a... A Revenant battle. Oh, I'm gonna have to... Get my chains ready. Yes. 166 gold for that. Yep, there's a large one. Oh, please don't tell me the spikes are gonna trigger again. That... Whoa. Oh, he didn't move? Oh, great! I got a level up on my Necrolite. Excellent. Haha, -ha, no flame strike for you. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, a little nasty. There, now let's start deal with him. Yeah, I could have used uh, the ghoul army. I mean, army of the dead. But I think I'll... I think I don't need it. Even though it would probably make things easier. Alright, boss number one, dead. 
Adds 10 bonus damage. Becomes ranged, so it's a orb effect. And it does 9 damage per second, which is actually not a little. It's actually pretty a lot. So, uh, hmm, hmm. if I drop this, he's gonna lose 100 health. If I lose this, he's gonna lose 150 health, 2 armor. But with this, he also loses damage and health regen. So it's just better to drop the shoulder. Yes? Yeah. Probably. Oh, nice! Now I got two orb effects. It's going great. Now to just get back to the way gate. Now to get out the way that I came in. I'm happy with the orb being on uh, the Necrolite and not on the Alchemist, who I designated as... Or I mean, who I equipped to be a damager, because... I think the main strength of the orb is in dealing the damage over time. And not in... Uh... Well, it adds 10 bonus damage. I actually skipped that part. That's pretty good. I think I would exchange it for the Scepter of the Sea. Yeah. Scepter of the Sea. Why I'm doing all of this is because the Alchemist... Uh, he, can, he can increase his attack speed... Uh... No, he cannot, but he can increase his damage by 15 and armor by plus 4. He also can heal himself with the elixir, can summon sludges, and these will heal him. And Necrolite has just support skills, while the Alchemist has some pretty good skills, even on his own. So... Oh dear. Hydras. And this one didn't summon any hatchlings. Yeah. Weird. Alright, what's gonna be the boss? Oh. It even has a name. Damn it. It's getting fancy in here. When you give Hydra a name... I mean, when you see Hydra named by the creator, you know something's gonna be serious. That was fast. I didn't even see the potion having I think I don't think the potion had enough time to even reach the Hydra before it died. I guess it got critted by uh, the Troll Kalar. Yeah? Yeah, fuck those. I'll just kill these few because they're close to the boss. And then go after it. I can imagine that if I were you know, I can imagine that if I were fighting the boss with all of these creeps at the same time, it would be a lot more challenging. Uh, so, I'm not gonna say that the bosses are easy. I never did in this. It's just a little flavorless, but that was only for the Revenant case. This one seems pretty interesting. You know, it's a Hydra that has a name, and also a large amount of health. And chaos damage and 10 armor and stuff like that. Oh god, but how I always hate the Hydra splitting. Uh, Alright, hello. We're here to deal with you. There, that should be enough to do it. Oh, it even ate one of my sludges. Cool. Well, they're gonna die anyway. Carapus. That's gonna be a dank item. Increases defense by 5, returns damage done by melee attackers. That's a must for my death knight, I think. Uh. Sure. I think this is the least useful one. Either, either the scepter or the medallion. <coughs> but I'm probably just gonna leave medallion behind. Oh wait, heck. There we go. 
Alright. Boss number two is dead. And where is the way gate? I don't see it. Oh, it's over there. Oof. I was thinking of saying that I'm... I broke something again or that it's not working. But it is. I just was a little blind. Right, we're over here, so I assume the other two are gonna be all the way over there. Hmm. There is a gate in here as well, but... Where the heck are they supposed to leave? I mean, where the heck are they supposed to leave to? There. That's what I wanted to say. Like a trap room? With treasure at its end, maybe? Like an artifact? Hmm. Whatever. I'm just gonna scout ahead, see what's up. I don't see anyone in here. Which is pretty weird, considering this area should probably be full of enemies. Or shouldn't it? I mean, the previous way, guide, way gate wasn't... I mean, way gate area wasn't covered in enemies as well. Those were just enemies who were standing in front of the fountain and the gate. Uh, it's actually the reverse. The fountain and the gate. But whatever. Get on with it. All right, two more bosses to deal with. Get in. Sea giant boss. Okay, I think I can deal with that. Sea giants are probably the lowest health enemies I've met so far. I mean, aside from uh, aside from uh, can't remember the name of. Uh, I can't even remember what I was talking about. Yeah. Oh yeah, that... I think I was talking about sea giants not being as much of a threat as, for example... As, for example... Let's say the Revenants. Oh yeah, and I said that they have probably the lowest health out of all enemies except uh, the Macrora, the Lobster Race, and... And what's the other? You got the Macrora. Here it is. I'm just unsure if I wa if I am recording. I'm sorry for that. You got the Macrora. And then what's the other race which doesn't have a lot of health? It's not Murlocs, no. It's... I can't really remember. Hmm... You got the Makura and there's two types of enemies. En enemies I was killing at the start while going through this jungle-like area, and I can't remember where's the jungle-like area. It's actually not in here, but I think there's two types of enemies which have uh, less health than sea giants in the current state of things. Hmm. There's actually one pattern. And the pattern is that they all have 5,600 health. Exactly, right? They only differ in... Uh, in stats... Oh, oh, in stats. In uh, damage, in armor, and in abilities used. Because Gaudius, for example, has Shockwave, War Stomp, and... Uh, what was that? Can't remember, but he also had a fifth, uh, fifth, fourth skill. Alright then, Ring of Protection plus 5, no. I have no space for that, I'm afraid. Let's have a look. So, as said, if, if, this, if the area is covered in mobs that are not the boss, uh, they're just gonna tell right away what the boss is gonna be, and as said, I think it's gonna be a turtle boss. There. A few turtles dealt with, but there's there has to be a large one somewhere around the corner. I mean Well, there's a dragon one. Those are always fun to deal with. Alright. Give me back my sludge. Thanks. 
I'll still waste mana because... Why not? Alright, moving up. I'm probably taking the... Uh, oh, there it is. I'm probably taking the harder way to go. Not going by the main entrance. As in... To the right of the portal and just down here. Instead I took a detour to uh, south. Through a bunch of other turtles. You need but... Even though it wasn't as effective, I still got here and I i mean, I didn't lose anyone, so... Alright, I think that this turtle definitely has resistant skin, so it's not gonna last anywhere near to 40 seconds, even. Yeah, that was more like 20. Okay, Necklace of Spell Immunity, well... You know that uh, I already have one. I'm probably just gonna get rid of the Banshee Necklace. It's nice, but permanent magic and... Uh, <clears throat> not magic immunity. Oh yeah, permanent magic immunity is something you probably shouldn't pass on. If, if it costs so much in the shop and uh, if you can get it for free. Correct? Necklace of Spell Immunity. Necklace of Spell Immunity, there we go. Alright. What was it? There was something... Hmm. I can't remember. Oh hey, look who came for a visit. Hmm. You? Alright, so both of those side areas have opened, but why? They were also linked to the main gate, weren't they? As in, if I managed to open this... Uh, where is it? Oh, there actually is no main gate. Okay, I've, I keep thinking like if there was one main gate, but there isn't. They're both locked behind these... Uh, these rolling stone door. So... Alright, I'll have to stack sludges in here, because the fight ahead, I don't think it's gonna be easy. By any means. Alright. That's 4 out of 5. For, by the words of Woofer, for optimal defense. There we go. Alright, kill that. Destroy the rune gate. And let's have a look uphill. See what's going on over there. Oh, oops, don't load. Whatever you do, do not load while in the middle of a mission and pretty far in it. Hmm. Okay. Is there gonna be like another boss that I'll have to deal with? I hope not. Okay. Yeah, Purges. Give me all the Purges. Alright. Warlock dealt with. Level up, and I got hit by an Infor. But I buy an infernal. Damn it, I can't speak. Whoa, and I certainly can't pay attention because. Hmm. Well. Alright, we'll do this on my terms. Okay. All of the ghouls got stunned, but that's not an issue. As long as I can get rid of these demons and then kill the warlock hero. The warlock neutral hero. Which summon them, then I'll be happy even more. Alright, another level. Oh yeah, it was on the other hero. Okay, fine. This was pretty well worth of an area. Alright, what the heck? He has a pretty large acquisition range, believe it or not. 
Well, you know what that means. <laughs> He's getting netted and then shot down by my nukes if I can apply. Oh, I wasn't. Oh, damn it. Well, now I, I wasn't paying attention there. Damn it. Really, damn it. All I had to do was just set the alchemist to self heal, but no. Damn. Alright. Army of the Dead is soon gonna be ready again. I just gotta wait for 225 mana in order to be able to hit it. I mean hit it. In order to be able to summon the ghouls at any point. Whenever I'll decide. And using uh and comboing them with the up in mind instead of having to wait. Alright. I'll, I'll probably just try killing the uh, Well, fucking hell. Never mind. Okay, you wanna die, then you'll die. First, before everyone else will, before the creeps even will. Storm Reaver Staff. Artifact. Two fell hounds. Grants increased attack speed, life regeneration, movement speed. This is really good. A really good one. Ho <laughs> ho ho! I'll take that. It's free. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, they can still be dispelled, but hey, I didn't pay any mana for them. So I think I'm okay when it when it comes to getting free units that can be dispelled. Yay! Alright, what were I looking for? Probably just nothing, right? There's just nothing more in here. That was a little brutal. The amount of damage they're doing. Oh, and the alchemists keep producing more and more skeletons. I mean, raising more and more skeletons. Nice. Ooh, I'm gonna kill the other side and try to get out of here. See where else do I have to go. I don't really think I have to go to the Naga base and destroy that. But... I mean, who am I to guess? Hmm. Heal up. Yeah. Pretty low on mana on both of my main heroes, on both the Alchemist and uh, the Death Knight. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. I, I mean, that's about it for this level, of course. Not for the whole campaign, no, no. It's actually somewhat fun. So that's that. Alright, I cannot. Could I really for could I really fight a whole base with four heroes and some good units? Could I? Uh, I guess I won't know until I try. And I forgot what I was talking about again. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just. Uh, it's 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 coming. The uh, the moment when I'll start to fall asleep while desperately trying to stay awake. Uh, oh, well, in any case, I should probably just try to get out and finish the mission. Not finish the mission, but finish the video. Okay. I don't know if I was supposed to do something in the dungeon or not, but hey, I got a really good item out of it. So I got no complaints there. Alright, so I'm going over here, you're saying? That's the human camp. What if I kill the Naga? Will that do anything? I mean, I would I would go to kill Naga right away. Because I think they would really fail against the units that I were given. 
I mean, that I was given. No, they're not. Oh, but that's right, I cannot... Yeah, I cannot go there. Damn it. So it seems like I will have to go through the Naga base in order to be able to get there, because I don't know how about you, but I see... Well, no, 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 no. Damn it. I'm trying to keep all of my... Uh... Oh, come on. Damn it. Trying to keep all of my units that I received for doing the quest alive and it's proving more difficult than I thought it would be. Because enemies like to focus them up. Damn it. Alright then. I got two more of those, which I don't think are gonna be good for anything anytime soon. But hey. I just have an extra unit, I should be happy. Regardless of its usefulness, correct? Hmm. I think I'm gonna leave them behind. They really don't have a lot of health. Yeah, I'll have to kill those hydras again, but other than that, should be easy. Alright, heal up, deal with the... Oh, there's a lot of them. Damn it. I think I'll just resort to doing this for the time being. No. Whoa. That was that was not close, but it should it sure did hurt my uh, mana reserves. Thankfully, I have a source right here. Yeah, the ghouls are gonna die soon. Uh. No, I I don't have to heal that, right? I have to heal this though. Okay. There's nothing more down here, so I guess it's probably... I mean, probably the only way to go from here on is just to visit the Naga base, see what they have, if they have any boats, or if they camp near boats and I have to get rid of them. Well, I just have to check on the Naga and see if they are a threat or not, and to what degree are they a threat or not. Alright, clean out these murlocs as well. Uh, my apologies if some of these sentences in this video won't make sense because I said I'm starting to fall asleep very slowly. I'll try my best, but as I said, I, I can't say for. I can't say with a 100% uh, 100% what is it? Get on with it can't think of the name or well name the word that I wanted to uh, say whatever it probably wasn't important and I screwed up another sentence yay so interesting right Those crits are pretty useful though, yes. so... Save map... How far are we? Hold up. One minute, four seconds. Wow. Yeah, I... Uh, the goal I'm trying to go for right now is just making a video with a length of a long video. So that means just... Uh, that means just uh, that hurt. I forgot again what I was trying to say. Damn it. Yeah, I said I'm sorry. 
At least the towers don't have increased damage. Or health. That would be... Quite unsatisfying to deal with. Just few hits and the tower's down. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Well, whatever. Okay, I'm not gonna be healing any of any one of those anytime soon, so... Alright. Attacks disabled. <laughs> oh, it disables Aryans as well. That's pretty nice then. Hmm. I need to get rid of the uh, shrine because I don't don't want any more koalos around the map than I already have. So, all right, another level. Excellent. Oh, uh, I just remembered what I wanted to finish before. Uh, I'm just trying to provide a video with footage of a longer video as I've said before like I'm trying to just stay awake for long enough to make a 1 hour 30 minutes video with some gameplay on it and with some commentary about the gameplay it's not like I would be just sitting here half dead not saying a word I'm trying to act like if I weren't tired but just said it's, it's, a, li it's a little tricky with that state of when, in, when you're not tired versus when you are tired Alright then. These two still just sitting in a bone uh, sitting in the bone pit. Or rather a graveyard or a corpse pit. Doesn't look like a pit to me. A pit would probably be at least one level underground, huh? Oh, didn't want to do that. Definitely didn't. Didn't even check the length of the video so far, but I guess it's not important. <clears throat> Damn, I'll need to get some water after I'm done. Throat's starting to get a little dry. Alright, one blood kill. The other blood kill. Dead. Excellent. Fuck the huts. I don't have patience for that at the moment. Hmm. Alright, another one dealt with. I don't know where is the... Uh, the uh... Oh, that's a large crab. Is that a boss? Hmm. I was getting ready to say that I don't know where is the area where I will get a ship. Or like, where is the river crossing? Because, I mean, I can see one over here, but... Why isn't not... Why isn't there one over here, for example? I know it doesn't connect to the land in any way, but like, you get what I mean? What? Why is there just one entry point? Is it for the gameplay reasons? The forest player to explore more, or...? Oh, okay, so I killed the... Uh, Teal, Naga, and then there's purple, or just... Hmm. Oh, there's something down here. Nearly missed that. Ooh, and turtles. Sure. Hmm. Ooh. Rune of Lesser Healing. There it goes. Oh, they're actually even mining? They have level 10 hero. Hmm. It's gonna be painful. It is gonna be painful indeed. That's why I'll first have a look down here. Alright, so all my heroes have maximum level for this chapter. I mean, this part of the mission too. So. But I think it's okay. Alright, who are you? 
Well, honor guard. Oh god. Mm, she she's gonna have things like monsoon and forked lightning. That's not not gonna be fun to deal with. It really is not gonna be fun to deal with. Uh Yeah, I used the heal and I guess you were... I guess he was stunned, the healer. Yeah, I'm losing everything I can. Not even like I would be trying to lose stuff, it's just that... The enemies are a bit more focused on the game than I am right now. Oh, the gate just triggered. Mm, cool. I don't know what she's channeling, so... Oh, she's just calling more Naga? It looks like it. Vulnerable. Rune of greater mana, that really helps. Oh, come on! Is she gonna do this every time that she loses 1000 L again, like the previous bosses? What's with this coding? I mean, it is working, it's just that... Eh. I mean, fine, I suppose. Oh, so she woke up finally. She's gonna go into a... Uh, into a comatose state again. There it is. It's not comatose, it's just extreme focus on doing simple things. Thing, not things. One thing. Yeah. Alright, heal yourself. Excellent. All right, time for you to die. Finally. Strength, agility, and intelligence by plus five. Hmm, increases the attack rate by 20%. Well, you know who that goes, or goes to. So I'm gonna swap out this. And probably that. Or um, Mitra, Mitra, whatever. Whichever. And... Probably move out. Yes. Those areas are actually connected now. So. Oh, I'm just gonna please. go near the Naga. There's probably one base. Just this one. I mean, there is enough space for one more base somewhere like over here, but. Doesn't seem all that likely. I mean, I'm, I'm about to destroy a second base. See? I already destroyed one, so why would there be a second one? Especially if there was such a uh, distance between them. You know, like, if you look at the distance between the teal Naga camp, which used to stand here, and it doesn't, and the purple Naga camp, camp, the way it looks in my eyes is that there's not going to be another camp, it's just going to be a path littered with neutrals that leads over to the it's human camp. It. Oh dear. Oh well. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm I'm getting really tired, so I'm gonna stop the video over here. If something that I said didn't make sense, I'm sorry. And uh, there should be more videos coming, coming out soon. I'm gonna try to upload like every third day. I might not be able to always keep that up, but I'll try. I probably should have said that at the start of the video as well. Well, anyway, I'll see you next time.